Russia. Winners of the tournament in 1960 as the Soviet Union. And uh, semi finalists in 2008 as Russia. Uh, those are the best performances. Hitting's Heroes. Just Hitting's, <laughs> Hitting's <laughs> Heroes of 2008. Um, and uh, FIFA World Ranking of 11. Which is, uh, I think it's uh, fairly accurate. Maybe, I don't uh, know. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe I'm going to stop doing this FIFA ranking. Really <laughs> um, Does it have the other ranking? What's the other ranking called? The, um, there's an alternate ranking. Um, it's, uh, they say it's more accurate. Alright. Yeah, no, I forgot to keep forgetting the name. It's just not. But, uh, you sent me the link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it will. Okay, the ones. Who's the ranking? Um, yeah, so look, um, your, your usual suspects are Andrea Shavin, Yuri Zerkov, Roman Pavlyuchenko. Funnily enough, two of those are now former Premier League players. Pavlyuchenko mm-hmm. um, plays for Tottenham. He's um, oh, still plays. He still plays for Tottenham. He does. Um, but um, anyway, um, uh, Yuri Zerkov was. Um, Chelsea mm-hmm. before. But then he moved from Manny. Yeah. He moved to uh, Anzi, I think. Yeah. And, Anzi uh, Maka, Maka Cha, Maka Bala. Oh, I can't understand that. Yeah, he reunited with Hiddink again. Um, yes, Hiddink. <laughs> and uh, Roberto Carlos mm-hmm. and uh, San Mimeto and other. And, and lots of oil money. A lot of money. <laughs> so, um, I should have also moved. Uh, so, uh, while, while we're on this topic, we've got these three Premier League players, which about two years ago were very established Premier League players, mm. but Pavlyuchenko can't get a game at Tottenham. Uh, Shaman couldn't get a game at Arsenal, mm. went to Zenit and um, Zerkov got uh, so she, cool. she shipped off to about back to Russia too. So um, that's a bit of a concern because I think a couple of years mm. ago you would have um, um, you would have fancied these guys as uh, yeah. uh, big Premier League players, but uh, it's uh, the team is basically um, Zenit and CSA. It's okay. <laughs> with, with, with all due respect, yeah, I mean, yeah. but before um, it was better, but it, now it's not as good because I think the Premier League um, yeah, players. Um, you yeah. can't really call them Premier League players anymore. That's the thing. It's true, but, true. Mm-hmm. Um, and Ashaban hasn't been playing great recently. Well, yeah, he hasn't been playing great for um, uh, Arsenal. That's where he shipped off. But uh, Zenit, he, he uh, from all reports, he was he was decent. He, he got his mojo back. Uh, whether mm-hmm. or not he's, he's, he's back to his best, uh, I don't think he was back to his best. But um, he did he did win the title with them. Well, he won he won more trophies with. Um, them than he had with Arsenal, so, <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, it was a reflection of the call to the league. Then maybe uh, <laughs> uh, it's not quite a team. But, um, um, okay, so they 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 topped the group um, in qualifying. Only one loss uh, in a group with Ireland and Slovakia in it, and um, you know, a bunch of winners as well. Um, uh, look, it's a very um, robust midfield um, that they have. Um, they've got this. Um, I can't even pronounce his name, but um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's it's very long. Um, that um, they've got um, uh, Zenit midfield, um, Zenit Saint Petersburg who do win the title. So it's it's very yeah. good in the sense that um, they all play together anyway all year. Yeah. So they, they they gel very well. Um, a very solid midfield. Um, it's always nice to have that. Yeah. Um, to have. Um, the problem is the defense is all CSK, which is also good. They'll gel, but. Um, but then when they were underperformed this year in oh, the okay. Russian Premier League, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Zenit played very well, so that's the concern. That the defense is all yep. CSKA, yeah. nearly all, like not everybody, yep. but and Zenit turns so midfield good, defense not so good. So, <laughs> uh, well, well, the thing is that I was looking at the at the at the team I have, and all players, have, but three of them actually actually play in the Russian Premier League. I think sometimes sometimes like I think pretty much all of them or a couple. Pretty much all of them, yeah. It's it's one of those squads where nearly all of them uh, play in the Russian Premier. League. In their own league, in the national team. So uh, this is sort of this this um, this year is sort of a test of the quality of the league, pretty much. Yes. The quality of the Russian Premier League, and it's been ranked highly, like in like, I think fifth, sixth best league in Europe. Yep, yep, I mean, it's decent according to UEFA. Mm-hmm. Um, now this will be a test of whether the quality will shine because they'll need um, you know they'll, they'll, they'll need to to show showcase the best best talents at the Euro. Yep. And you, I mean, the, the performance of this team in Euro will be a reflection of the league as well. So sure, sure. So um, but in my opinion, it won't be enough. That's my my opinion. So you're saying they won't qualify? I'm saying they won't get out of group stage. Yeah, that's, that's, group stage. I don't think they'll get out. They'll just won't have enough, especially with Asha. I don't know. Apparently, Shams can go better now, but. Yeah. Uh, he plays like he was playing Arsenal. Mm-hmm. Um, no chance. Mm, no, 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 he chance. really did lose the confidence, and he really wasn't. Um, he, he he lost it. He really, he, and he's he, a captain. He's, a, he's a still the captain. Mm. Um, 
But um, look, I'll, I'll still have them getting through. I mean, they're lucky they're in this group. Um, let's just say. I mean, I do have similar views to you, but mm. because the the quality of the group isn't that great, they'll, they'll still get out. Um, uh, I think yeah, it'll be very close between them and Poland. Yeah. And Poland, Poland being the host nation, but uh, Russia will have um slightly more um quality um because yeah. because um Poland also has quality. But Russia has the quality and has the players that are all in the same league. So yeah. with the the, inst- the Poland with their problems playing friendly matches, um, playing players that keep getting rotated, that um, it'll be difficult to gel for them. So um, even though they have the home support, I think Russia just picked them. Right. Um, so they'll qualify so quarterfinals. Yep. Quarterfinals will get eliminated. Group B. Okay. Any, the, the, no, no offense to any Group A supporters out there, but any whoever gets out of this group is a no hoper because you got someone from the group of death waiting for you. So yeah, well, uh, um, so no, you know, uh, quarterfinal, yeah. quarterfinal elimination for yeah, yeah. <laughs> Russia too. So. Just before we end, uh, just before we finish talking about Russia, uh, the coach is uh, Dick Apica. Dick Apica. And uh, as you can see, I put his name in capital letters. <laughs> capital letters. Yes. He's a Dick. I like him. Well, yeah. I like him because he 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 ditched the Socceroos. Uh, a couple of years ago, yes, he, after uh, signing a contract, signed a contract with the Australian Football uh, Federation, or so Football Federation Australia, should I say? And uh, he uh, he backed out. Backed out. Uh, he did the runner. He jumped ship. <laughs> he just ran away. And, and other uh, terms. I'm not sure what happened. Did they sue him? I don't know what happened. Oh, I don't know. I forgot what happened. They were, were going to oh, take legal action. That's why. That's uh, <laughs> appropriate. Yeah. So um, another reason why I don't think Russia should go through. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's it. Anyway, so that's that's Russia. That's Russia. Uh-